Today, I want to talk to you about when it's time to wake up and read to you from Romans chapter 13, verse 11, where we read this. And do this knowing the time, that it is now high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Accident investigators say that the car was airborne for about 150 feet, that's about 30 meters, before it crashed through the roof of Joanne and Mahan Donovan's house in Derry, New Hampshire. It was about three o'clock in the morning and a 20 year old woman who was later arrested for drunk driving drove the car. Her car came crashing through the ceiling and dropped right over the Donovan's bed. The thing was right in front of my face, Mr. Donovan, 65 said. I could feel the heat from the exhaust system coming right through the sheets. And that's pretty scary. But do you want to know something that's even more frightening? According to the Associated Press story, the wife of the home, Joanne Donovan, didn't wake up. She slept right through it. Mr. Donovan had to shake her awake after the crash. It's amazing what we can sleep through. God can do a fantastic work among many people, but others sleep right through it, spiritually speaking. In Romans chapter 13, verse 11, we find out what it takes to keep us awake or to awaken us from our spiritual slumber. First, Paul wrote about knowing the time. Often when we oversleep, it's because we didn't know the time. We wake up late and in a panic, we look for the time and we get a sick feeling. I'm late. I overslept. Now, spiritually speaking, if we know the time, we won't sleep when we shouldn't. And when we look around at the world today with open eyes and an open Bible, we see that the time is short. If we really believe that Jesus is coming soon, if we know the time, then we will wake up. Second, Paul wrote about what would happen at the right time. He said, now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The coming of Jesus and the completion of our salvation is closer now than ever. Every day since you first decided to follow Jesus, the time has become closer and closer and the finishing of your salvation is nearer and nearer. When we remember how wonderful it'll be to have our salvation finished, no more sin, no more death, no more of the frailty of this flesh, then that is going to keep us awake. Right now, are you taking a spiritual nap? Perhaps there's some spiritual activity in your life, but you might as well be sleepwalking through it. So the right prayer for you today is this. Lord, wake me up. Help me to know when it is time to awaken. Get me excited about the completion of my salvation. I believe that God loves to answer that kind of prayer. Even if you're sleeping so soundly that if a car crashed through the roof of your house, you wouldn't even know it. God can still get you awake even if you're that asleep and he's able to keep you awake for his glory.